Guten Morgen, my amigos. This is BT in China, coming from you from Chengdu, China, and I have another Chinese fable story today. I just I just got excited because uh, I shared the the frog in the well story yesterday, and I think I think a lot of you guys liked it. So I'm going to share another Chinese fable today. This one is called the Arrow in the Stone. And this story just has a great message, has a really great message. And I like the idiom, I, I like the message. So this is called the arrow in the stone. If you use the, the frog in the well idiom yesterday, then you get six gold stars. And if you use today's idiom, then you'll get two bonus points and another six gold stars. <laughs> okay, so here's the story. It's called the arrow in the stone. And this is a Chinese fable, ancient story. Many people know this in China. Everyone knows it. And uh, how they call it in Chinese, they call it sincerity can affect even metal and stone. Cheng xin cui zhi, jing shi wei kai. And you'll understand what that means here in just a minute when I tell the story. So one day there's this fellow. Come over here on this side. There's this fellow here. And he's just... Uh, He's just walking along, right? Walking along in the forest. And all of a sudden he sees something. And he's freaking out because he says, it's a tiger. And he sees here, you can see here's this tiger. Ah, it's a tiger. And he's so scared. What's going to happen? He's going to die. So his adrenaline is just rushing, right? And what he does is he he pulls out his, his arrow here. Pulls out an arrow, gets his bow. And he just shoots an arrow as strong as he can, as fast as he can, right to the tiger. And then after he hits the tiger with the arrow, he's like, did I get it? Is everything okay? So he's slowly, you know, creeping forward. And he looks and he says, it's just a stone. <laughs> it's not even a tiger. It just looks like a tiger. But you'll see here, the arrow literally went into the stone and lodged itself in the stone. And he says to himself, the arrow went in the stone? Really? He said, am I, am I that strong? Mm, I don't think I'm that strong. He says, uh, let me try one more time. So then he gets his bow and his arrow, right? And he shoots an, another arrow one more time, shoots it, and it hits the stone. And sure enough... It just bounces off the stone. And he goes, hmm? The first time I shot the arrow, it went all the way in the stone. But the second time, it just bounces off. So that is the story. What does this story mean? Well, this means where there's a will, there's a way. And the idiom today is, Jing cheng sui jia, Jing shi wei kai. I put it there in the description. So let's walk through it really quick. Jing cheng, Jing cheng, suo jia. This means if you have effort, which is Jing, and it's very sincere, sincere effort, that is cheng, and you add that to something. So if you, if you want to do something, and you add a lot of sincere effort, like he had that adrenaline going, and he was like, I'm going to kill this tiger, or I'm going to die, right? That's a lot of sincere effort. Jing cheng suo jia. Okay. If you add that sincere effort, then the next part, jing shi wei kai. Jing means metal. And shi means rock, like shi to. Jing shi. So metal and rock, something that is very strong, something that you normally wouldn't be able to break. Wei kai. You can even... You can even affect it. You can even have the arrow go into the metal. You can have the arrow go into the rock. You can do something that would be seemingly impossible if you really put your mind to it. So I think this is a really powerful message. Two, two bonus points and six gold stars if you use this, this phrase today. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what those are for, but uh, you'll find something to do with them. Bragging rights. Uh, so one more time. Practice saying this Chinese idiom, and you could even use it in English and just say, you know, uh, 
in the in the Chinese the, the English translation, sincerity can affect even metal and stone. Maybe you could say that, and someone be like, "What are you talking about?" That Jin Cheng Sui Jia Sui Jia Jin Shi Wei Kai. Right there in description. Hope you enjoyed this second Chinese fable story. Don't know how often I'm going to do these, but I I I think they're really fun, and I hope you enjoy them. So have a great day. Zai Jian. That's goodbye in Chinese. Uh, 再见, my amigos. Bye bye.